Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a fun, different video. This is how I style my second day hair with a little bit shorter hair than I had when I did my original hair curling video. This is just the products that I use and the tips and tricks I use to refresh my hair when it's been a few days since I've washed it and to kind of get it looking um, fresh again for a few more days. So if you are interested in seeing how I curled my hair this time, Please okay guys, let's get started in restyling our hair. First, I'm gonna take my Kerastase Powder Bluff, which is just a dry shampoo. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. I'm not gonna put a lot in it because I don't really use a lot of dry shampoo. My hair really doesn't need it. But just to kind of refresh it and give it a little volume, I will use this. So I just spray a little bit in my, um, you know, down the center of my hair and then a little bit in the back. And I'll just pick up um, kind of random sections and just spray it just to, um, you know, work it in there. So. I'm going to then massage it. This is not a very attractive uh, <laughs> pose, but I'm just going to kind of massage that into my hair. Um, like I said, I don't use dry shampoo very often. Um, it's not like something I use on the daily. I just really um, use it kind of when I need it or when I'm recurling it and restyling it. Um, so you just kind of rub that in. And then what I like to do before I recurl my hair is just take a little bit of oil. This is just a um, uh, another Kerastase one. This is just the Elixir Ultimate, and this is the um, purple one that is scented with rose. Um, it's just very liquidy. I'm just going to take a tiny little pump of it, rub that in my hands, and then I'm just going to kind of rub, run this through the bottom of my hair and just wherever it might look like it needs it. So my front pieces and just kind of really work it through my hair. I don't take a lot of it. I don't want um, my hair to get really, you know, greasy or anything. So I just kind of run that through um, just as you would pretending you're running through like a, a product or, or something. So have that. <sighs> okay. So that's really run through my hair. Just kind of make the um, curling iron slide through a little bit easier. So I have that and I'm going to section my hair off. So you could just section your hair any way you want. I'm just going to take my top piece here and pull it up and then just twist and clip. Okay. So then we are going to be left, my hair is stuck to my lips. Okay. Um, we are going to take the back and section the back into two sections. So you're going to take this and section that up and then you're left with just this. So let's get started. When I am recurling my hair, I'm not going to be as precise as I was when I curled it originally. My hair even still has some curl and some movement um, from the original, you know, curl a couple days ago. Um, so I'm going to take this section, and I'm going to split it into two, and we are just going to curl it. And you're not going to, like I said, you're not going to be that precise about it. Piece is done. Go on with this. You might want to take a little bit bigger section than you did before because you're just trying to kind of, you know, revive the curl and let it, you know, kind of remember where it was. When I use that uh, Kerastase Long Croyable, that's what this is good for because it remembers the hold that you had in your hair. That's why you're not going to see me add any additional spray or anything to my hair because it kind of already has that, that memory in there, if you would. When I curl my hair, I usually start kind of at the middle and work my way down. Um, I don't really like my curls to be that tight. And I forgot this little guy over here. Um, so you will see me just kind of start it in the middle and work my way down. Okay, let's get this out of the way. So the bottom is curled. Put that back, take down this top section here, which will split. It's kind of repetitive, guys. So I'm going to um, curl the rest of this hair. And then um, when I get to the top, I will. Okay, guys, I'm back. I look a little crazy, but I did uh, finish curling the bottom of my hair. So now I've moved on to the sides. And we're going to pretty much do the same thing the same way. I have um, some more layers in my hair. So you're going to see um, certain pieces are going to be curled a little bit differently. Um, and again, you're just going to want to take larger sections and just curl it and let it go. And then this little guy here, I'm just going to curl just like that. And then I did clip the other half of this 
section. Um, normally with this piece, like right here, I would break it into you know two or three pieces, but what I'm going to do is actually just curl it just like this, and you're going to see how it works, because you really want to get your hair you know, redone. You've already spent time, you know, you can see that piece right there. Um, you've already spent the time originally, you know, doing your hair. The last thing you want to do is spend, you know, more, you know, hours doing it. So this is how I redo it quickly and how I don't have to add a lot more product to my hair. And again, it's because of long coilable, which I've talked about a hundred times on my channel, and that really helps remember the curl. And that's why I don't have to respray it, which I love because the key to having healthy hair is to not use as many products in it. Um, that's why I'm not always going to be using a lot of dry shampoos and things of the sort and why I really don't wash my hair every day. So I'm hold it and then let it go. So the sides are recurled. They are kind of more, um, loose and a little bit you know bigger normally like i said when i curl my hair they are a little bit smaller but that is just personal preference so that is done and we're going to do the rest of the head right here just going to split that save the front piece for last okay we're going to curl the back of our hair right here and i'm just going to split this again into maybe two or three sections. You're going to see, like I said, as I um, curl my hair, you're going to see where my hair already has some curl to it because it's going to, it doesn't all fall out. I mean, it's been pretty hot and humid, so it's harder to keep my, my curl curls in, but you can see that it, it doesn't totally get wiped out. And again, that was a larger section. This is the pieces that go in the back of my head, so I'm not gonna be too particular about them. Except that guy who doesn't wanna stay in the curling wand. <laughs> All right, there we go. So I'm gonna take that and kind of clip that back. And then we just have the front pieces. So what I'm going to do is try to pull out my bangs or my bangs. <laughs> they're not really bangs. They're just like the long pieces in the front. I'm going to pull those out um, so they don't kind of get mixed up in this. So I'm going to take this and split this like that and kind of clip this over here. And then we have this kind of piece here and it has a couple different layers in it, but I'm going to just curl it as one. Normally I would curl each one separate that one didn't roll good. <laughs> Normally, like I said, I would curl each one separate, each layer separate, what I do when I'm first styling my hair. But when I'm restyling it, um, I just want it to be quick and easy. Okay, so I took that piece down. I'm going to split my bangs, bangs. <laughs> and I have this piece here, which is just probably my shortest layer. And I'm going to just curl that. And let that go. You don't want to hold that for too long. Okay. So now we're going to split this side. This is again the, the bang piece and this is the other half section. So let's do this piece first. And your curls, I don't think curls are ever going to look the same on either side because I can't even see you guys. Um, we hold the curling irons differently because to curl it, you know, whether you're righty or lefty. So, I mean, they look somewhat similar. My hair is literally in my eye. So I'm going to take it all down and kind of show it, and we're gonna just kind of fix it a little bit. So, and normally I like my curls to be fallen and it, it to look, you know, very, um, you know, not as tight. Um, even though they're curled bigger and looser, I still like my hair to be a little bit um, fallen. So it will fall in a little bit. That's why I don't really like to add 
the extra spray and it just kind of I will come up and show you guys so here are the big loose curls that we did um this is probably second day hair wash it a few days ago and it looks like i just you know washed and curled it so that is it for my little second day hair styling tutorial i hope it was helpful to you guys um this is just it um and it, you can see how it kind of works you know the style render works actually too on shorter hair um since my hair is a lot shorter than it was when I did my original hair curling video. So I hope this was helpful to somebody. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I will always get back to you and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed for more videos. Thanks guys.